essentially this is a film for radio um, and we really want people to see it that way. We want people to think of this as cinema without the screen. <laughs> It's like a radio play, but it's far more than that in terms of sound. You know, you've got um, rich layers of sound effects and original music going on all around you all the time. Um, the audience members walk into a room full of speakers. Uh, and they're then sort of plunged into darkness uh, and get to experience all of these gothic landscapes and all this melodrama um, and of course the, the hound itself actually unfolding all around them. The most powerful tool in any kind of narrative work is always going to be the audience's imagination um, and by putting them in a darkened room and taking away everything except the sound uh, we're really letting the imagination sort of come into its own. The, the picture I built in my mind was quite rich and it wasn't, it wasn't like a, how you see things from shot to shot in a, a, cin a cinema. I kind of expected to come out and see countryside out the window when I came out. It's, it's very, very involving. It's good. I feel, I feel quite strange now. I just love the effect of having the, the hearing enhanced by taking the visual away. At, at no point did I think that it was lacking without having visuals, I thought that the whole thing was just done brilliantly, just for audio. The noise of the hound was genuinely frightening. Uh, it's much better than watching it on film. I think that's it. It brings you into the action, just having the sound. By the end of it, I was I was genuinely, genuinely frightened. <laughs> and I, I didn't like it. I, didn't, I was scared that the, the, the hound was behind me. 